We're going to turn now to the ABC News series, Climate Crisis Saving Tomorrow, last night, Madagascar. And tonight, we take you to India, the third largest emitter of carbon dioxide in the world. That country surprising the climate summit, pledging to reach net zero emissions by 2070, trying to break its addiction to coal. Tonight here, we're in one village on top of a coal mine. The floors in people's homes and the ground in some cases, too hot to stand on. Children breathing toxic air. James Longman now from India. Living on the edge of hell, this village in the east of India sits right on top of a coal mine. These people's jobs depend on coal, but just below their feet, it burns for 24 hours a day. The smoke you see is carbon dioxide filled vapor. These children breathe in these toxic fumes all day and all night. Life expectancy is 10 years short of the national average here. Black lung, a common illness, irreparable damage to their health and the climate. Coal is so important to the livelihoods of these families, they're willing to die for it on this fossil fuel front line. Sapna has been living in this village all her life. She shows me something extraordinary. So she's going to pour the water on the floor. Oh my God, that's actually really hot. You can see the steam coming off yeah. it. She's terrified the heat will swallow her home like it's destroyed others around her. Mining is not an old problem in India. It's, it's a modern one and it's going to be a future one because they're expanding all the time. 70% of India's energy comes from coal, making it the world's third biggest polluter behind China and the US. But its energy needs are set to rise faster than both over the next 20 years. With so many yet to be lifted out of poverty, the potential for emission levels to explode is clear. This is sensitive for officials here, who at one point tried to stop us from filming these conditions. We can't film until we have uh, authority from high. Fine. What were all those people doing there? Look, the process is yeah. they are uh, segregating larger uh, blocks. So you've got these workers down here and they're just on the surface of the coal here and they're sorting through it with their bare hands. Hard labor doesn't begin to explain this life. But India has exciting green energy plans. They want to hit 50% renewable by just 2030. Solar will be huge here and Delhi's massive population problem has already forced it into cleaner energies. But coal will be a hard habit to kick. The average Indian generates far less carbon than the average American. In fact, it takes at least seven Indians to generate as much carbon as one person in the United States. But it's the sheer number of people who live here, coupled with the rate of development, that means a greener Indian future is vital if the world is going to beat climate change. David? Stunning shot, James Longman in India, and we'll continue this series all month long here. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.